What up? I'm back with another tip for all the photographers out there, or maybe you knew this already, but if you have content that you're shooting over and over again, in my case, I shoot a lot on my white wall. So what I do is I built myself a preset for those times where I kind of neglected it a little bit and didn't clean it all the way. So that way I'll be able to keep it clean inside a post. So I'm going to jump into Lightroom Classic and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we're in Lightroom Classic. I've already pre-selected image. We got a little girl pushing over a G and this is a perfect example. So right now, the only thing that I've ever done to this image is select the mask and then select background. So since I'm going to build a preset, I want to make sure I don't do anything else to it but just the background. So right now I'm gonna select exposure. I'm gonna try to bring exposure up just a little bit. I'm gonna bring my shadows up just a tiny bit because again, all we want is a cleaner background. Bring that up a little bit. It's looking a little yellow. I have wood ceiling, so a lot of that orange tinge gets in there. So let me cool that down just a tad bit. Look at that, okay. Contrast, I don't need to drop whites. I can bring that up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna come down here to my texture and clarity. I'm gonna drop texture to about 50 because then you'll be able to see right here, my texture starts to fade a little bit. So as I bring down clarity, but you gotta be careful when you bring down clarity because then you'll create like a dreamy effect around your subject. And you know, if that's what you want, that's what you want. But this is a good start for my actual white background. So let me see what that looks like. So clean, suitable for a preset. So now I'm gonna open up the other side and we're gonna go right here to presets, select, create preset, and then just name it white wall. In my case, I'm gonna name it white wall clean. And it's just a starting point. So create that preset and then you'll see the preset pop up in, as you can see, it is right there. So anytime I need to make a preset or, you know, do work quick, in this case, I'll select that preset and then I'll object out that G just so I can, you know, have that. But I would set that white background preset for anything on the white wall. Yeah. So appreciate you for joining me. See you on the next one.